What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the studio. Josh Grove here to teach you another tutorial. Today we are going to be learning the ring stall. This trick is super similar to the handle stall, but we're actually going to be catching the ball on the small little ring right here on the cat. So the ring stall looks just like this, just like so. How do we do it? So this trick is one of the most challenging of the stall tricks in Ken Grip. I would say, or in Sara Grip. Uh, but you wanna make sure you practice learning bird, nightingale, handle stall, all of those tricks will help you learn the ring stall. So jumping into this trick, uh, my grip, I'm having the ring finger, uh, my ring finger on the ring of the kendama. This will help be a guiding point for when I'm pulling the ken up, just to try to land the ball right on top of my ring finger. So once you have the grip and your ring finger right on that ring stall, Essentially, you just want to make sure the tom is nice and steady and just like any other pull-up trick, you want to go straight up and then straight back down and then focusing all of your attention on landing that tama right on top of your ring finger, just like so. And there you have the ring stall. From there, you can just drop it straight in or you can flip it in. You can go to any other stall from there as well. Some trouble areas you might find is just the tama not landing on that point exactly. So a way that you can practice that is literally just picking the tama up and setting it on the ring stall and just kind of moving your hand uh, in different angles slowly to see how far you have before that tama will fall off of the ring. So you can set it there, figure out where that balance point is, and you get an idea of that ring stall itself. Last but not least, just make sure you use your knees nice and slow. That'll help you with this trick immensely. So there you have the ring stall, uh, an awesome trick in the stall category. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Be sure to go check out the rest of our tutorials. Drop a like, drop a comment on what you would like to see us do next, and we'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio.